Hi everybody, my name is Hannah and this is Pepper and Pine and today I'm sharing with you the books that we're using for our evolution unit. This may come as a surprise that we're doing a unit on evolution, but I do want to share with you some of my thoughts on this as I share with you these books. So the first book we have is The Story of Life Evolution by Katie Scott. So we're doing a unit on evolution, which may seem a bit of a surprise as we are a religious family, but I um, I feel like talking about this is not um, in contradiction to the religion as far as the evolution of animals, um, but not of humans because we believe in creation. So we believe that human beings were created and that we have not evolved. We're the same as the very first human being that was created. Um, certainly our technology and our lifestyle and our food choices and our clothing choices have, have changed, but as human beings, we have not evolved. So I believe in creation and I also believe in evolution, um, to the point, and I should clarify that, um, to the point point where if if this is what's being discovered at the moment you know it does not contradict our religious teachings unless science then tries to say no human beings have evolved and we are continuing to evolve um that's where i would draw the line for me personally but this planet has a history animals have a history and maybe using the term evolution is a little bit harsh because it's usually used intertwined with human evolution and so if you want to separate it and look at the history of animals and the history of this planet then maybe that might be an easier way for you to explore these topics with without it contradicting, contradicting your religious beliefs. So these are some just gorgeous illustrations, as I said, for this book. And what I love is that this is going to take you literally through the history of the planet. And let's see how far back it starts, because when we're looking at, um, okay, pre-Cambrian. Um, pre so when we're looking at the history of the planet itself, the planet itself went through just tremendous upheaval before it settled down to a point where it was cool enough to sustain life, um, had water in a liquid state, um, had a balance of oxygen and nitrogen that wasn't just going to erupt in explosions everywhere when at, uh, at one point where the oxygen level was, was higher. And I believe during the time of the dinosaurs, it might have been higher than it is now. I actually don't remember those facts off the top of my head at the moment. Um, but when we were doing our geology and earth science unit, uh, we were looking at some of the history of the planet and even back to the history of the minerals and where they actually came from. And then it took us all the way back to the Big Bang. So I, in, I like including these kinds of things. It might not be great for a younger student. I think these are great for say middle school and high school and above i think with younger students just talking about the the beauty and even in some ways it seems fantastical of the past especially with dinosaurs for instance but talking about those things from a, a, a more general perspective might be of interest for young children but i think diving deep into the history of the planet and the history of plants and animals, I think that's better reserved for a, a middle school student and a high school student. So let me just flip through a few more of these pages just so you can see what you're in for with this really gorgeous book. Next we have When Whales Walked and this is a book that we actually started, here's our bookmark, and did not uh, finish, but it was enjoyable to read primarily these sections here. As with some of the books in the past that we've used, especially the DKI Witness books, I prefer just reading the paragraph rather than all the captions. I sort of get lost in the flow of the book by reading all the captions. And the way that we've incorporated these kinds of books into our homeschool now is that I'll read the main portion and then I'll ask the kids if there's any of the captions that th that interest them based on the pictures or maybe a little bit of the reading. And then we'll do that. And and that way we can get through the book a little bit easier with better flow and not get held up by all of the captions. But you might have a child that loves all of these little details, loves books like this, then this would be just right for you. If you're not, I'm just suggesting a way for you to get through um, the book. And these, so I'm not a huge fan of like the computer illustrations, the graphic illustrations, but this one I do really like. And same with the story of life. I, I, pretty much usually like the hand-drawn illustrations but there are some of these that i i like and i like the paper i like that it's more of like a 
kind of rough versus glossy finish and those are little details that I know that most of you probably aren't going to buy or not buy a book because of those details but I want to say that that adds to the whole appeal of these kinds of books and then the last one we have Amazing Evolution The Journey of Life and again like this would be the kind of stuff that I would not personally include because that does contradict our religious and spiritual um, principles and values but the um, the other aspects of this book, and I would be reading this with a critical eye just because I think that some stuff could get mixed in that I wouldn't want to make it sound like we did agree with every portion of this book. Um, so I would be reading this book aloud to my children. Um, so this book has the kind of illustrations that I'm not super crazy about. I'm not super crazy about these kind of illustrations. I'm not super crazy about the paper. You can hear that it sort of like makes that squeaky sound between your fingers. It is more of a glossy finish, but it is still a really beautiful book. And, um, and it is rather current compared to some of the other resources that we have for our earth science and fossil and dinosaur unit studies. This is some of my most recent purchases and um, granted they still have been a couple of years um, but they are more recent than some of my other um, purchases so this uh, this unit goes along with our dinosaur unit which goes along with our fossil unit which goes along with our earth science and um, mineral mineralogy and geology unit so these sort of all go together in some capacity but i did separate them out into its own video however on the blog post that accompanies this video you'll see them included in a really big blog post that includes the different smaller units that go along with this as well as more photos and links to the materials that we're using so i encourage you to check that out that link is down in the in the description box below so I think that's it for um, these resources. Not very much this time. I hope that you'll check out the blog post that accompanies this video. That link is in the description box below. And if you'd like to see how we're homeschooling on a daily basis, you can find me on Instagram at Pepper and Pine.